If you've ever thought about traveling to the Netherlands before and wanted to visit Venlo, then here's everything you need to know about visiting the city of Venlo and all the best spots to see within the city. Hi guys, welcome to a brand new video. If you're new here, my name is James. I show you great destinations to travel in Europe and I'm so excited to be taking you on a little new adventure today. I've traveled on the train from Dusseldorf in Germany to Venlo here in the Netherlands and to get there it is a direct train on the RE13. It's really easy, it's simple and it takes just over an hour on the direct service. There was a little bit of a delay this morning but we have got here safe and sound in Venlo and I'm going to be showing you guys all around. So let's get going. And just to tell you guys a little bit more about the train service as well, from Dusseldorf to Venlo, so it's actually a service, the RE13, which runs from Venlo to Ham in Nordrhein-Westfalen, and this is a direct service which travels over Mönchengladbach, Neuss, Dusseldorf, and Wuppertal as well. So these are places you can get on and uh, travel direct to Venlo, which is obviously really convenient. Also, the weather today is not perfect for vlogging, guys. It is a little bit windy and also it snowed this morning. It's very cold. It's about zero degrees today. Not as cold as during the week when I headed up Cologne Cathedral when it was minus seven. If you haven't seen that video yet and you want to learn all about climbing the Cologne Cathedral, then make sure to check that video out now. And let's go and check out what there is to see in Venlo. So let's go have a look. So, we've arrived at our first place to visit in Venlo, which is a must-see, it's the harbour, and it's over on my right-hand side, just over there. And I'm going to tell you guys a little bit more about the harbour, but first of all, I just wanted to tell you some of my impressions of the city. First of all, I'm not actually sure if it's a city or a town, it's very small, that's one of my first impressions. But something else I've noticed straight away is that the whole city is equipped with security cameras, which I don't... Think I've ever seen in any other city before. Let me know in the comments if you've experienced this before. Um, obviously that is great because it makes it feel safer but the question is was there or is there a lot of crime in this uh, in this town or this city? And something else I've noticed here is you will come across a lot of familiar brands. Not in terms of restaurants and cafes but in terms of shops. I think I've already seen Primark and I've seen New Yorker and although it's quite a small footprint it is really remarkable how many brands and chains of shops there are here. It is a Sunday, meaning as you can see, it is very quiet here so far. It will probably pick up a little bit in the afternoon. I'm quite glad it's quiet. I mean, the weather definitely has something to do with that as well, because there is an extreme wind chill. But um, yeah, like it's starting to pick up a little bit now, but because it's a Sunday, it's quite quiet here in Venlo. So I've arrived at our next spot to visit, which is the Old Town Hall, which you can't really miss because it's located on the main street here in Venlo. It started to snow a bit as well, so it's all getting a bit crazy, but we were expecting a little bit of adverse weather today, so we're just rolling with it. But I've got to say that the Old Town Hall here and this square and plaza behind me is so beautiful. Something else which I'm seeing adverts plastered for all over is Chocomel and we know that this is a pretty Dutch brand and as a vegan traveller this is something which obviously doesn't interest me that much but just another thing if you are a vegan or plant-based traveller like myself there is not that much here in Venlo to accommodate. What I would say is there is a, a coffee shop here, it's a chain, it's called Bagels and Beans and there you can get a range of vegan uh, bagels and also they have plant-based milk as well for drinks so that would be my recommendation and it's located down near to the harbour. 
Once you're on the high streets here in Venlo, there are lots of turnings off the high streets which lead to little alleyways which are really beautiful and I highly recommend exploring down these alleyways to see what Venlo has in store. As you can see as well, my hands are getting absolutely covered in snow. This weather today is so interchangeable, it's so crazy. So guys, I've got one last recommendation for you and this is this beautiful park behind me. It's very expansive and it's located just a couple of minutes walk away from the train station. I'm going to write the name on the screen here for you guys so you can visit here when you come to Venlo in the spring or the summer or even to be honest in the autumn with the lovely autumn leaves this park is going to be amazing and it would be really nice to come and have a little walk or a little relax in this park. So that concludes all the best places to visit in Venlo in the Netherlands. Guys, I'm quite tired. I've had quite a long day. Done a lot of steps. It's been really nice walking around Venlo, but it's been super cold. My face is absolutely freezing. I hope this guide helped you for all the best places to visit in Venlo for when you come. I just want to give you a couple little more points, which I picked up on during the day while going around. So first of all, as per usual in the Netherlands, you can pay everyone with card. You don't really need to worry about cash. So in Venlo, you can pay everything with card. Number two is public toilets. I didn't really see any public toilets. Toilet at the station here is broken at the moment, it's out of order. And you also have to pay for it even when it is in order. The only other public toilets I actually saw were at Dunkin' Donuts and they costed 50 cents. So to be honest, that's not been great because I could have gone to the toilet, but I haven't really been able to go to the toilet here. It's a similar situation normally in Germany, but I just wanted to warn you guys about that. And number three is about, is Venlo worth a visit? So let's dive down into the question of whether Venlo is actually worth a visit. If you're looking for a great holiday destination in the Netherlands or in Europe, then I wouldn't recommend Venlo as a main destination. But if you're going into railing, this could be a great place for a stop along the way, especially when traveling from Netherlands into Germany. You can definitely stop at Venlo for half a day. I would highly recommend it. There is, it is a really lovely town. The old town is really beautiful and there's enough to see I'm sure in the spring or the summer where you can chill out by the harbour in the parks. It's going to be really beautiful here guys so I really highly recommend it but more than half a day you're not really looking at. I wouldn't recommend staying here overnight. There are of course a few hotels. There's also museums available to see if you're interested in that too so I can highly recommend that and I would really recommend coming to Venlo for half a day while interrailing or travelling around Europe and then moving on to your next destination. So guys, that concludes today's video. It's time to head back on the Eurobahn train from Venlo into Germany. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a thumbs up. Make sure to leave a subscribe on my channel and also check out my other social media pages for great travel content and uh, study abroad content too. I'll see you guys in the next video soon and stay well. Goodbye.